Hi guys. So I finished my hair and stuff. Um, as you can see, I, I use I did use that um, Maybelline pencil, the smoky, so intense smoky pencil, and it's not much different than when I do the Urban Decay pencil looks. And and I'm not saying it's bad. I do like the color. It's actually a blue color. It looked more purple. Um, but um, I think if we were to put some shadow on top of it to really smoke it out, because I went exactly by the steps that it says on the, on the box, right? So it's the Maybelline Master Smoky. And you're supposed to be able to just put a line on the top, a line on the bottom, use the smudger, and you're supposed to have this like insane, if you can see that picture there on the bottom, it's like this insane dark smoky eye. Now I went over with this crayon, well the color, I went over it, here's the actual product, okay. So you open one side and you have your color, right? And I went over my top lid and my bottom lid before I smoked it quite a few times. And it took me a little while to make it a dark color. Finally when I got it to the color I liked, I did use the other side which is just Basically, you know the smudge brushes that I ha we have you've seen in the past that I've used. Um, it's basically a softer, larger one of those, and you just go over those two lines to smoke it out as much as you can. And it doesn't smoke out very much if you look at. And I, I, I spent time mostly on the eyes. Everything else I wanted to keep simple because this is supposed to be like a quick simple way to get a you know great smoky eye without all the work so the tutorial I did for me is super super short I don't have many products to show you that I actually used I'm not even wearing foundation just BB cream so it's like step one step two and you have like this insane dark eye I did end up using the Urban Decay pencil the black one that we were going to be using for the next Urban Decay look just so I can put it in the upper and lower water line to give it some of that darker look in the eye. So let me kind of show you how I started off. It's really a fast and simple look. There's a lot of steps you guys don't have to do. Um, I did them because it's like I feel wrong if I don't. <laughs> so like this part you could skip if you want. I had to do my concealer. So I took my Shawnee palette and I used this one right here. Oh, let me just so you know. I'm not flipping off I swear. The one right here for under my eyes because my eyes have been super baggy. And then this one, the green one, for my cheeks. Uh, I've been, now that I got my nails shortened, I use my fingers because when you use your fingers on a lot of stuff, it warms it warms up the creams and spreads on the face easier. So, like they, if you're doing someone else's makeup, never use your fingers. I mean, that's kind of a given unless you absolutely have to and make sure your hands are clean and sanitized and all that. So that was my first step and because like it always looks like I have color on my cheeks I was like I'm not doing blush. So anyways after I did the my um, concealer I just put some BB cream on right now the brush I just used I just put is like because of course it's super dark so I just put a tiny bit on each part of my face and then cut you know went over the concealer and everything with my um, stifle foundation brush and there's only like a couple brushes we're going to be using this for this whole tutorial 
this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the whole look because it is supposed to be a fast look. Like I said, you can skip some of these steps. I wouldn't skip the BB cream. If you do have some BB cream, you can use your hands to put it on. I have before. I just like using the brush because for me it feels like, well, one, I'm using the concealer and I want to make sure I'm giving it, putting it on evenly and two, it's super dark. So anyways, but you can take your, your BB cream, put it like you do your, you know, moisturizer and stuff and just put it on your face and you'd be done. Boom. So then, if anybody, I didn't want to use like one of my loose powders because it's supposed to be a fast look. Every girl, hopefully, has some kind of compact, a powdered compact in their purse. Now, I don't normally use this for tutorials because I use it when I'm out and about and if I need a touch up on my powder. I have my MAC, which I've had this forever. It's my Studio Fix MAC palette, or MAC palette, MAC uh, compact. I want a Chanel one really bad. And it's super light, as you can see. Like, I mean, I've had this a long time. I'm almost out. I can't even read. <laughs> I can't even read what color it is. Just think of it as the, probably the lightest color. But, and you can skip the next one, too. And I put this on, not with the, uh, I didn't want to use the little pad, you know, the little sponge it comes with. I don't really like using these unless I absolutely have to. If I don't have my to-go makeup brushes, I used my um, fluffy powder brush. And then you could skip the next step, but I felt like I'm not going to do any blush because you can still see some of the redness on my cheeks which, give, which gives me colors but I would like some dimension on my face so I did use my MAC um, mineralized skin finish um, for bronzing and I'll show you it's pretty dark but when you put it on it doesn't surprisingly with as dark as this looks I think it's probably because it's, miner it's a mineral finish. Um, plus I blend it. You can see that, you know, where I've contoured. Ah, <laughs> uh, the art of makeup. <laughs> Send that face out. And I used for this, which again, this is a step you can choose to not do, a contour brush. And I did my cheeks. I did my forehead. Sides of my, and it like, jawline. And then a little on the nose. You can actually make it look like you have uh, a nose job. Like you can totally fit. I'll have to show you on one of my tutorials with a darker color how to contour your nose in a way where you can thin out your nose like crazy. I just haven't been doing it. So, um, and then of course I because I have to wear a powder on my eyes and I have I these are all the next couple of things literally are all steps you don't have to do but because I'm a bit more anal as you would say about how I do my makeup I did use my Too Faced to prime my eye and I have to color in my eyebrows so I used my Makeup Geek um, gel liner which I have um, some Makeup Geek makeup coming and I did buy that I think I told you the glitter glue which is actually a shadow base so that's lobster and then like I've done with all of the other like the simpler ones when we first started I put a base of eyeshadow which is my NYX and highlight it's basically the same color as my skin, maybe a tad bit lighter, and just put it on my lids. And then I took this, opened it, did as much of it as I can get, and then once, once I smudged it out, especially on the top, you can see 
you can see the bottom is darker than the top. And I did it multiple times. I went back over it, tried to smudge it, went back over it. So, honestly, I would just stick with the Urban Decay pencils. I might use this um, smudger. I might use this for my Urban Decay pencils, the smudger part, and see how that works. But, I mean, you can use these if you don't want to buy the Urban... Like, this would be a good dupe for an Urban Decay pencil, you know, and... It, under ten dollars and you know the Urban Decay pencils are about 20 bucks a piece that's why I always wait till Christmas when they do the you know the sets of pencils but it would be a good dupe if you threw some shadow on top of it um, with the pencil brush to darken it up it, it would uh, so I might do this again later on and throw some blue shadow over it and then I did use the black liner, the Urban Decay black liner that we were going to be doing next. And I had an idea for a look where I was going to like just do regular eyeliner and show you guys how to put eyeliner on. But I'll show you how to, because I do have it in my waterline. Now, like I couldn't say earlier, the, 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 my favorite Urban Decay black pencil is in Zero super dark black. Now these are all creamy and I love them. This one is called Black Market. So I do have it in my waterline and my um, my bottom waterline and my upper waterline. So I tight lined and I didn't use gel liner because I was trying to do it in a fast way. This is also a step you don't have to do for this but I would like you to if you have a black pencil or this particular pencil because I want you guys to learn to tight line because it does thicken your lashes and I only did one coat of mascara today and I used my Ulta uh, legendary lengths for the mascara and then um, I was surprised I used I'm using the Ellen Tracy uh, lip crayon that I got it's a lot darker than it's coming off and I thought it would be a lot more glossy, but this thing's stinking pretty matte. I can throw some lip gloss over this, so I can do it with or without the gloss and have two totally different looks. It's not what I expected. I really like this. I just hope, oh, it's a twisty. Okay, because I'm like, oh, I'm sharpening it, but no, it twists. So, no, I love this. I'm super happy with this, and this was like $3 at stinking TJ Maxx. So there you go guys that's it oh these are the brushes you're gonna need if you do it like I did I'm doing the full look for you guys tomorrow the full from start to finish just three brushes the flat stiffle for, for my BB cream my contour for my bronzing mineral powder brush for my powder and to smooth anything out that I need to smooth out for my eyes um like you you don't have to do these but I did this one for my eyebrows and I also made sure to gel them my resume and then my 224 that's it that's all I used so it will be um it might take a little longer than normal because I'm going to be blobbering and blabbering away. But um, all in all, you can skip a lot of the stuff I did and you've got like a three to five minute look. Just boom, out the door. Um, so, yeah, that's everything. I will write a list and put it on the blog. If you don't remember names and all that sort of thing or if you want to try to find dupes for everything and, and all that like I always do. Um, I'm going to try to change the blog for when you're looking at my blog, everything scrolls down because, like, I did my look of the week, which turned out really, really good um, this week, and then I go and start posting more stuff, and it kind of gets overlooked. That's why I really want you guys to look at, you know, the sidebar and click on the links, but I'm going to try to, like, put 
it all in separate spots so that way you don't have to it doesn't get overlooked because it was really cute I mean I had my Chanel bag so and, you know, I was wearing my heels and I was looking cute alright so I don't want you know I want you guys to see it that's all that's all <laughs> anyways alright guys so that's what we got going on for tomorrow if all is well so um have a great day for today and talk to you later bye peeps Love you.